hello good day to you friends so today uh, i'll be speaking you know on the topic of open stack administration and uh, the component that i'll be describing today is open vswitch open vswitch is a very important component you know in open stack um you know with as open stack is today it is difficult, you know, to talk about OpenStack without, you know, talking about OpenVSwitch. Uh, OpenVSwitch is a. Uh, let's go to the. Let's go to the uh, OpenVSwitch website. So, basically, you will see something like OpenVSwitch is a production quality multi-layer, you know, multi-layer virtual switch, you know, licensed under the open source Apache two point zero license so it is a, a virtual switch uh, as you can see and it's you know it's, it supports a lot of standards and protocols so it is used a lot in OpenStack as I like I said it is difficult to talk about OpenStack you know without talking about OpenVSwitch so also uh, I'll also be speaking about three major bridges in OpenStack you know if you are dealing with open stack you should be familiar with these bridges or uh, the first among them is the br ton you know it is a tunnel bridge so it, it can implement either vxlan or gre the second one is the integration bridge so the integration bridge is the actual bridge that is used for the virtual machines and the uh, brx is the external bridge it is the bridge you know that's used to connect to the outside world so you know if you have you know followed my series about open stack administration when i talked about installation you i think you should remember this particular bridge brx you know it is the one that allows you to connect you know to external world so le let me show you them um this or uh, the diagram so to buttress my point so uh so this so this diagram you know shows a basic uh, architecture of the openstack networking so for example let's say you have a, a virtual machine uh, this is test zero that virtual machine you know is con is connected to br int uh, the br int like i said is the integration bridge uh, another virtual machine is also connected to that same bridge so from the br int is connected to the br ton uh, bridge so the br ton you know is used for tunneling so tunneling so th there's a tunnel so if you see from g to h is a tunnel it can be a gre tunnel it can be a vxlan tunnel so th this architecture you know shows you when you have uh, the compute host or the compute node separated from the uh, network node so this is the network node here this is the compute node so so uh the the br ton is used you know as integration uh, sorry the br ton is used as the tunneling bridge between the compute node and the network node so also you see another br int on the network node on the br int you have the dhcp agent and the and the router being connected here which is you know connected to brx brx is you know the bridge that allows you to connect to external world so if you if you want to very if you want to be solid you know in open stack administration you have to be familiar with these three bridges brint brton and brx and all of them they are implemented in open v switch so let me go to the terminal and i will show you so this is my terminal um so if you are in a multi-node environment you 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 go to your network node um and also your co or your compute node so this environment is a all-in-one, but I will still show you. So open vSwitch, you can interact with open vSwitch by using the open v uh, sorry OVS or OVS VS Codo. And if I type OVS VS CTL show, you know it shows me the you know the 
uh, what is uh, contained in the on the open v switch right now so like i said you see the first bridge here is br turn it's a bridge so you know you have to imagine what a bridge is you have a bridge and you have ports connected to the bridge it's like a physical switch where you have a physical switch that has ports you know that you plug in the rj45 so but this implements it in a virtual you know this is a software equivalent of a physical switch so you have the br ton uh we have the br int and the brx oh sorry yeah brex so the brex you know allows you to connect to the outside world and you see the open or uh, open vswitch version you know it's somewhere down here so this gives you basically uh uh the the summary of everything that is contained in the open in the networking of OpenStack as it is so uh bearing you see the bearing has a lot of ports you know connected to it because like i said the bearing is the one that you know the virtual machines connect to and not only the virtual machines but also the dhcp port and the and the routing the routing agent and the dhcp agent you know both connect to this brn here and virtual machines also connect to brn so um, be familiar with these three bridges so some of the commands that i have here you know basically shows how you interact with open v switch i have showed obvious vs code show another one is if you want to look at the flows so what is there's something called uh, open flow so the the uh, open v switch you know implements or uh, let me write it here open flow so the open flow protocol is very important so the if you want to look at those flows you can use the obvious of called the dump flow so if you if i go to the terminal and i run ovs ov o f color dump flows then i will specify the particular bridge that i want so this is prex so these are the flows what is called open flows you know in that particular bridge and we can do it for the br tone also so you see these are the flows you know in the br tone uh, and similarly let me clear this we can do it for the br paint also so these are the open flows or rules you know that dictate our traffic you know flows in open stack so um that's one way of interacting if you just want to list the bridges that are available on your open v switch you can do list br so you see it gives me these three bridges so i have three bridges you know available on this uh, open v switch right now you can add bridge so if you want to add bridge you can do something like ovs vs codo hard bridge or uh, let me call it demo bridge demo br so now if i do a list bridge again you see i have one more bridge here so and i can add ports you know to that bridge so uh another one you can list the interfaces you know in a particular uh bridge so if i want to list the interfaces in brex i'll do this if i want to list B the or uh, interfaces in br Int, so you see the bearing has more uh, interfaces like i showed you know the, this is the qr qr that's for the routing qg is for the uh, uh dhcp then you have other bridges other uh ports as well so uh, if you want to list for the br tone also you know the br tone has only one interface so our manager so the manager there's a concept of manager in open v switch so the manager is basically like uh 
the controller you know what controls that particular uh open v switch so this represents the address of the manager so if you you know get into advanced you know maybe uh, networking in the realm of open v switch you will know that all software defined networking you can have different managers you can have or uh, there's something called open daylight open daylight can be a manager there are other several other managers you know that can be used to control the open v switch uh yeah you can also list ports so uh let's list ports so this basically this the port in a particular bridge so um if you want to run the command so most the, some of the most useful ones are the ones on the ovs vs codo so and you can i think you can use help you can use the help to get help you know about what you want to do um so yeah you, you can do a lot of things actually like this is in you know, open switch is like a uh something you have to learn on its own it has a lot of things that advanced you know configurations that you can do here so basically that is what i want to show in this uh demonstration you know just to intimate you with what the our open v switch is used in open stack uh, and also the three major bridges that OpenStack uses you should never forget this or uh, th these three major bridges they are everywhere uh, if you need to troubleshoot OpenStack you know the OpenStack networking most likely you have to deal with these bridges and some basic commands you know that you can use to interact with OpenV switch so um, briefly I think that's what I want to show. So let me know what you think in the comment section. If you have a question or comment or addition, or that would be beneficial to everybody. So you can drop it. So, uh, or if you have something in mind that you feel I should talk about, so let me know and uh, I'll talk about it. So thank you for watching. Um, take care. See you in some other videos. Bye.